Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Hey, it's good to see you, Nadine. Yeah, you too. Summer's just flown by. I can't believe it. I know. September's been the same way. Yeah. Adrian's settling in, though, and he's getting used to the routines and getting good connection with friends, so that's really, really good to see. Yeah, you bet. I mean, for a kid with ADHD, that's what you need, a lot of patterns and routine and structure. We sure need that at home. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So even our daytime or having that up on the board is a good visual for him. It mm -hmm. helps him with transitions a bit more. Yeah, those visual cues will help, and we use them at home as well. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. um, Adrian is such a creative kid. Yeah, he, I just think he has so much potential. Mm -hmm. What we want to try and do is actually have him get those ideas that he has in his head down on paper. What do you have in mind? Well, we're thinking about using these Alpha Smarts. I don't know if you've seen them before or I haven't. not. Uh, it's this little mini keyboard, and the kids get a chance to write what they're thinking down on screen. Okay. Um, makes me a little nervous because it looks like another screen and he can get really hooked into screens, computer and gaming and so if he also has that at school it's sort of one more keyboarding and screen. Well this is not so much a game, right? It's, it's, it's a writing tool. Okay. And so with Adrian, he doesn't like to write. He doesn't like to hold that physical pencil in his hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so what we want to try and do for Adrian is just find a way for him to share his thinking because he's not actually reaching his potential. Okay, what about, you know, the need for writing and holding a pen and practicing? Wouldn't it be wiser just to stay with conventional and traditional ways of writing? Well, uh, I hear what you're saying and I, and I understand your reluctance to add yet one more screen. Yeah. Why don't I send you a link? because I, I have some documentation on the use of Alpha Smarts uh, in classrooms for kids. And it might be something that you and your husband want to read. And okay. then you can get back to me and see what you think. Okay, maybe that's a good idea. So do you mind if you just give me your email? That way I can stay in touch. I can let you know how Adrian is doing and you can get back to me that way. Sure, that'd be great. It's a good way to kind of connect with parents across the year. Yeah, that's great. Um, it's O-N. Hmm. This could be just the thing. Hi, Nadine. Thanks for giving me the time and some information to, to help me make a decision. I really appreciate that. Let's give it a go. But I'll definitely need some ideas from you on how to use the computer at home so he doesn't just end up on the internet. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for giving me the go-ahead. I'm sure as you get going at home, you'll have ideas for me, too. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Awesome. Okay, why don't we, why don't I just hold on to Chester for a minute and you get that next sentence type. All right. Chester agrees that you should be typing. That's right. And then what do they do in the winter time? They change white to Hey Elizabeth. Hope you had a good day. Adrian had a better day today, even though he seemed a little tired. He has been having a harder time dealing with working in a group and getting his work done at school. He didn't finish his science assignment, so I am emailing it home for him to work on. I marked the two questions he needs to add information to in yellow for you. Have a great weekend. Nadine. I'm slime. Finished oh. my story. Awesome, it's buddy. Awesome. It's awesome? Yeah. You think so? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, let's have a read. Hi, I am Adrian. I am a wolf. I am trapped with the girl of my dreams by... Poachers! Ha ha ha. Very ha, funny. Ha. I like that part. Yeah. But that's one thing you do well. You give me a great start and you drag me right into your story. Yeah. Maybe we should, like, read it to my mom. I think she's coming in later. I think we should do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. So come with me and we'll print it off, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. See you Bye, Bye, sweetie. Bye. Hey, Miss Lang. Bye. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you doing? Good, you? Good. Good. Hey, bud, how are you doing? Oh, good. Good day? Yeah. Awesome. We had a great day. Wait, Adrian, Adrian. And there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he wrote. 
And he wrote. Did he really? And he wrote. Did he, he had this amazing story. Well, that's so good. It is. He was going to read it to you, but you know what? I will get him to read it for his dad and I tonight. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm sure he'll do be it happy that way. to do that. All right. And I wanted to tell you something. Yeah. Um, to get him to practice keyboarding. Yeah. After dinner, we ask him to go for 15 minutes straight. Okay. And then we reward him with either some video time or reading books. And guess what he chooses? Uh, books every yes. time. I bet. He does. He loves his books. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe we'll try something like that at school yeah. too. After he's done some work, yeah. then we'll we'll give that Mom. reading time to yeah. him too. Yeah, come on. You guys can talk tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I guess that's true. Yeah, take the story. Okay. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye. -bye. Wait up, Adrian. Children benefit when parents and teachers respect each other. Both parents and teachers are seen as knowledgeable and competent. Communicate frequently. Encourage two-way communication. Share common goals for the child's learning and communicate openly. Give parents time to think about new ideas. Accept feelings. Why I love being in the class is that it allows me to get new ideas. I'm always picking up new ones from his teachers by watching him and them interact. And also, I, I'm right there to be able to ask them questions about and get any new information. And I, of course, I get to meet all his friends at school.